pick, but there are also some interesting mids. Uh, almost a recreation of the Walking Zed's composition yesterday with the Katarina mid, the Wukong jungle. I think Dominate definitely learning from his coach, St. Vicious, channeling <laughs> his, his inner Monkey King. It worked out a lot better. The first few ganks were a little weak, they didn't work out, but uh, as the game progressed, you felt that Curse found ways to actually get in there and pick some fights, and it didn't take them 450 hours this time as well. That's a pretty good point. <laughs> now, I have a question specifically for Benny about that top lane. Um, we did have Quas rushing Hydra uh, several times, actually. What do you, what, what's your input on that? Like, if it's just a one versus one matchup, it's not bad at all, but... As you can see, in that game, they focused on shutting Quaz down a little more, where it was Vi and Olaf constantly diving him because he's so squishy. But if they only did that earlier in the series when the games weren't as like eventful and they could have just got free kills over and over again and possibly snowballed the game. But in this game in particular, while they were focusing more on top, they were just snowballing mid and like Dominic was getting ganks off elsewhere. Yeah, I feel like in this particular series, Cognitive didn't make any decisive calls or decisions at all. I felt like as the series progressed and went on, they, they sat back, they were happy to play the farm game, they waited, and it, it, it frustrated me because they had champions that could go in, that could make plays happen, and for games one, two, and three at least, there was very little of that happening at all. Okay, so after watching the whole series though, I want to get your guys' input on this cursed team and what you think they're going to be able to accomplish in the 2014 season, because it's a, definitely a completely different cursed lineup. Okay, well, in the words of COG, they certainly have potential. <laughs> like, with all, like, a fresh roster, like, we have yet to see what they can really do. But, like, to be honest, this wasn't the strongest showing that I would have expected from them, even though they did play solidly in a long stretch game, and they did outplay Cognitive, despite, like, some random picks here and there. They, out they outplayed them. They are the better team, and they deserve to be here. My concern for this, from this showing is that Cognitive never put pressure on them. And I don't think many of the other teams we've seen that are going to be taking part in the LCS will give them that 30 minutes of breathing room to, mm -hmm. to make plays. And I think they need to work on their plays early game. Otherwise, from the w teams you've seen this weekend, I think Evil Geniuses is the most threatening. Coast played well, but had similar indecisiveness problems. And I feel Coast are definitely going to have to get that resolved by the time we kick off the next season. Yeah, I definitely agree with you because well, wasn't, didn't they like sweep? Their, their opponents? Yep, it was like three a 3-0. <laughs> it, it was really convincing, too. It yep. wasn't like the five game or four games that we just experienced right now. And a lot of that also has to do with, like, they have veteran players. And, I mean, of course, they have, like, the three members from, like, the EU's EG. They bring a lot of experience. And then Pole Belter's always been a solid mid. And Enox has been in the scene forever, too, like, in the challenger scene. But he's, he's overlooked. Like, their roster's really solid. All right, well, before we wrap up our day, I would first like to thanks, thank Benny for coming, <laughs> hanging out with us, and sharing his league knowledge. It, it was a pleasure. <laughs> uh, although there were parts of the game that did frustrate me as well. <laughs> Just how so paced it was, but <laughs> it's over. <laughs> and uh, congratulations, Curse. Uh, I love everyone on Curse. Like, they are a really nice group of people, and I'm happy to see them back in the LCS. And, yeah, thank you guys for being such good hosts. Whoa, Shox was here too, but you placed there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you uh, once again, Benny. And now we're going to send it back over to Rib.